hello everyone and welcome to this Ecognition Constructed video. Today we're gonna talk about an algorithm called Converge to Subobjects. This one is pretty straightforward, but it might become handy in all of your projects actually. Um, helping you to get image objects from lower level to your super level. So why would you use this algorithm? right, to replicate image objects on a super level that you have on a sub level. So what it does, it splits all image objects of the image object domain into their sub objects. So you also can define in the domain only convert to sub objects for a certain class or something, right? And then that would be the result. So you're converting your sub objects to your super level. And now you also have the outline of your sub objects on the super level. In this case, sub level is level one and super level level two. Let's have a look at an ecognition project. Here I do have two levels. In this case, it's called L1 is the super level and L0 that you also see on the bottom pane is the sub level. So we have two levels and you see on level one uh, depicted on the top pane you have the outline of the whole forest and on the sub level you have a finer classification. Now I want to have these image objects, the outlines that you see on the bottom pane also on my super level. So what do I do? I use this algorithm. You define the level here in the domain. So I want to have the image objects on L1 based on sub objects. There you go. That's all you have to do. And now all the outlines that you see on the bottom level, like on the sub level, on the bottom pane, are now transferred into the super level. So all the outlines are also there. So what we did is, imagine looking from the side to your onto your image objects, we had a level one and level zero. Level one uh, has bigger image objects, that's our super level, and the sub level L0 has smaller image objects. And what we did using this algorithm is transfer the outlines of the sub level onto my super level, right? So now all the outlines are also on my super level L1, in this case, what I showed you in eCognition, right? This can be very helpful if you do a classification on your sub level and you also want to have that classification and the outlines of your classified objects on your super level. Use this algorithm and you're ready to go. That's already it, so thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and hear you soon.